Shalom, this is Levi Shore. Welcome back to Swing Good Torah. So we just begun the year 5780. Very exciting. And we're going to begin Parsha Bereshis. We're starting back at the beginning of it all. And uh, we're going to dive right in. So Hashem created everything. We have something called the Asara Mamaros, the um, the ten sayings. And there's these ten pasukim that Hashem created everything with. And these ten pasukim and these ten sayings, the Asara Mamaros, um, are related to the ten sephiros. Hashem pre-created the ten sephiros before he created brought everything else into reality. And these sephiros are linked to these ten pasukim, these ten verses, and they're going to teach us much more about the sephiros. And the sephiros, the qualities of the sephiros, are going to teach us much more about the pasukim and the creation of my sabreshis. Okay, confused? Hopefully we'll be less confused when we get done this. It's really this amazing, grand, unified, Kabbalistic concept of everything. And let's, uh, let's start right in. So let's start right at the beginning with Bereshis. So the first of the Sephiros, the highest of the ten Sephiros, is Keser, Keter, which means crown. And this is such a high level. This is really in Hashem's will, His Ratzon, in the Makshava, in the thought. Before you even speak something, first you have to have the idea in your head, in your mind. And this is beyond speech, and that's why it doesn't have the Vayomer. So Keser is beyond speech. It's thought. It's will. It's even, even beyond thought. It's when Hashem first has the will, the Ratzon, to create everything. So it begins even beyond the level of thought even. And um, so the first is, Bereshis bara Elohim, Esa Shemayim Ve'esa Aretz. So in the beginning, in the beginning of everything, Elohim, the name, I will say it here, the name Elohim was used to create the Shemayim, the, the heavens, and the earth. So then we move down from there. So this is the level, the Kessler is the highest crown level beyond everything, beyond even thought. And now we're going to move into, into the um, thinking process. So now we're going to move down to a lower level of consciousness, consciousness, sorry, into Chachma, which is wisdom. And then, this is the second of the Sphiros, and then Hashem says, Vayomer Elohim Yehi Or, Vayehi Or. So this is fascinating. So sometimes we think about, we, we you know, Someone, when they have an idea, they say, oh, a light bulb just went off in my mind. I, I got an idea. And then we see Chachma here is related. To and then Elohim said, let there be light, and there was light. So wisdom, thought, the highest level of thought. But not when you break it down. Not when you step through to think about it. When you hear words in your head that you're thinking about it, you're already at the lower level. But when that thought just pops in your head, when it comes from above, the Chachma, the wisdom, it's like a light bulb. It's like light going off. And then we move down to the next sphere of of Bina, of understanding. And that's when we start to think about things. That's when we start to think in our mind, oh, let me see about this, let me say about that. We don't even speak it yet. It's all in our mind. These are the three levels of consciousness. Consciousness, <laughs> But this level of Bina. And this is related to when Hashem says, Vayomer Elohim yehi rakia beso kamayim vayehi mavdil bein mayim lamayim. So this is fascinating. So this is the level of understanding. And this is when we begin to break down the ideas and the thought. We begin to understand it. And what happens here is, Elohim, he says, let there be a rakia. It's usually translated as thermament, firmament. I mean, we can think of it as, on the earth, we have this atmosphere. We have this little blue line that separates us from the emptiness or our perceived darkness and emptiness of space, or the Shemayims, and between the atmosphere and the blue sky down below. So it's a separation. And separating between the higher waters and the lower waters. Separating between water and water. Now, Mayim, water... The Torah is often compared to uh, to water. So now this is some kind of idea of breaking down a separation between this water, this Torah idea, and the next Torah idea, between the higher level of thought, of chakma, of wisdom, and now begin to understand it, break it down, think about it. Let me see, what does this mean? I'm thinking in my head, what does this mean? What does it mean I'm talking about it? When we start to talk about it in our heads mentally, that's the process of being of understanding. Now, these three are the highest, these are the three highest uh, levels of the spheros, and these are called the mochim, and they're related to different higher and higher levels of consciousness. And this is our intellect. This is what gives us the ability to think and, and, and to, to, to have a machshab, have thought, plan things. And, and Hashem's teaching us by how He's creating everything that this is also what we can do when we want to create something. The first step is first that keser, that that. Right, so we have a will to do it. We want to do something. We want to create something. And then Chachma, that idea pops in our head, the blueprint of what we want to create. And then we break it down into every little detail of how we want to create this. Then we're going to come down so to the seven lower Sephiros, and that's called the Midos, the emotions. 
And this is how we bring something into reality. It starts at higher levels of consciousness and thought. It comes down to the lower part, seven lower parts of consciousness, breaks down to the seven days of the week. And let's move on to the number four. So chesed is kindness. This one's fascinating. So by Yomer Elohim, Yekavu Hamayim, Mitachas Hashemayim, El Makom Echad, Vaseirah Hayabasha Vayihichi. So let's see what Hashem's doing here. So Hashem, Elohim says, He says, Gather the water under the heavens, <coughs> El Makom Echad, into one place. <coughs> Excuse me, Vate Vaseirah Hayabasha Vayihichi. And then, he made visible, it appeared, the dry land, the Yabasha, and it was so. So what Hashem is doing here is, Hashem is creating a place for someone to live. So chesed, the kindness, the kindness we do, we're helping people to live. And what Hashem did is the ultimate kindness on the earth, He's creating a place for us to live. And when He says He's gathering the waters, that's also fascinating, because as we said before, Torah is related to water. So when someone wants to teach someone Torah first, they must gather the water together. They must gather the water, and water is life. Physically, we need water to live, and spiritually, we need the water, the Mayim, the Torah, to live. So a person who wants to teach Torah, or first wants to learn for himself, he gathers all the information, all the wisdom of the Torah together, and the kindness is then he creates a Yabasha. He creates a nice, gives, brings it to one place, clarifies it, and creates a Yabasha, a place for people to live. And so, too, a person can give over the Torah in a nice, dry warm place for the people to live. And, and kindness, chesed, is about giving to others, giving life to others, giving people a place to live. All these things are aspects, deep aspects of kindness, of chesed. So we move down to the next sphera is gavura. So gavura is usually defined as strength, and really it's maybe more like self-control, self-restraint, the power of self-restraint, of conquering our own desires. So here Hashem says, Vayomer Elohim, Tad she ha'aretz deshe esev mazria zera al pri e ose pri lamino asher zaro vo al ha'aretz vayichichin. So this is fascinating. So this is strength here, and what what we're talking about here is the potential of growth. So Hashem creates. It says, and Elohim said that the earth should sprout like different like vegetables, like herbs. You know the. And, 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 and these, these grasses, these herbs, they should give seed. And there should be seed of um, <clears throat> the seed of the tree, so the fruit trees, the seed of the tree. And they should have the pre. They should make, there should be a fruit tree, an eights pre, a fruit tree. Ose pre, that makes fruit. So Hashem's creating the potential of growth and life in the world. Asher zarovo al ha'aretz. And then these will be, these will be the planted, the seeds will be upon the earth. And it was so. So here in Gavura, the self-restraint, conquering our desires. And when we conquer our desires, the strength, we grow. And through that growth, this is the self-growth, when we, we plant and we create the potential of life. And the potential of life is connected to Gavura. It's, it's self-control, it's strength. And through that strength and self-control, we are growing. Okay, so we move down to the next one, to Tiferis. Tiferis is um, described as beauty, MS, truth. And Tiferis, what we start to want to do now is we want to start to balance. So we want to balance chesed on one hand, we want to, on the right hand, right side, where we're balancing kindness, giving to others. And on the left hand, I know it's backwards for you, sorry. And on the left hand, we're balancing um, gavura, self-control, and, 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 and inner strength. And when we balance those two things of kindness and inner strength, we get Tiferis right in the middle. We get the balance of beauty, of truth. So here Hashem said, Vayomer, Elohim yehi mo'oros barakia hashemayim. So it's fascinating. So truth, beauty, and what does Hashem do here to show us this? He creates the lights in the rakia of the heavens, in the, in, the, in the firmament. I don't know, such a crazy word, firmament. I understand it less than rakia, but a rakia. We look up into the night sky and we see this beautiful truth, beauty uh, of all the, the the planets and the sun and the moon and the stars. And all the galaxies you can see through these great powerful telescopes and all this beauty in the Shemayans. And Hashem wanted to do Lahavdil Bain Hayom Ubain Halaiva between day, between the day of good, of Tov, of good, and Geula, the revelation of Hashem in the world, and Bain Halila, dark, the cold, the gullus, the exile, the distance from Hashem in the world. 
And the beauty is the balancing between this, the, the separation of the good and evil. We want to choose good. We want to soar me ra. We want to turn away from ra, turn away from evil, and osay tov and do good. And we want to separate between good, day and night, good and evil. And that they were that they were signs for the, the holidays, the Moadim, the holidays, the festivals throughout the year, the days and the years. And Hashem is creating time here. So it's very fascinating. So the balance between kindness and uh, and strength, self-control, creates this beauty, and it also is creating time. Time is created in this concept of truth and uh, of beauty. It's fascinating. As we move down to the seventh of the Sviros, Netzach, eternity, power, victory, domination. So what does Hashem do here? So Hashem says, By Yomer Elohim, Yishritzu Hamayim, Sheretz Nefesh Kayev Ha'ov, so here Elohim says that they should swarm, that the water should swarm with the sherets, the swarm of the um, the nefesh chaya. The nefesh is the lowest level of the soul that the animals possess. And they have the chaya, the life, the nefesh of chaya, of life, of living creatures, of the fish, the life of the fish, and the oaf, the birds that are flying above the earth, and they are flying across the face of the, the rakia, the Shemayim. Because we, the birds are not bound by the earth. They can fly upwards to the rakia in the sky. So this is Netzach, eternity. And, and, and what creates eternity? Eternity, sorry. What creates eternity is life. And this is the first creation we see of life. <coughs> or life, life that's, that's moving, swimming in the ocean, the fish. And then the life that's flying above the earth, the, the birds. And this is the very eternity, the netzach of life. So it's also interesting that netzach is on the right side with chesed. So it comes down from chesed. So kindness, but this is a more eternal kind of kindness. So a chesed, a kindness, could be someone needs your help. So you give someone money, you give someone food, you give someone something to drink. But the netzach is, is, is more the um, long-term kindness. And the long-term kindness will be getting someone a job so that person then can make money to feed themselves, to buy themselves a place to live. So it's, it's lengthening the kindness, making a more long-term kindness. So Netzach, the attorney, is, is strengthening and, and, and stretching out the kindness. And the kindness here is that Hashem is creating life. He's creating the fish and he's creating the birds. So we move down to the other side. So Netzach is on the right side with Chesed. And on, under Gevora, under strength, self-control, is hot empathy, and that also seems very. It would seem like Netzach, strength and victory and domination should be under Gevora, but everything's backwards. It seems backwards, but it's really the way it should be. And hot is empathy, caring for others. So here, by Yomer Elokim, Totze Haaretz Nefesh Kaya Lemina Vayichikin, and hot is empathy, caring for others. And and Elokim says that the earth should should it should produce this Nefesh Kaya. According to its type, and it was so. And this is all the animals now are being created, all the animals that live on the earth. And this is empathy. And you think of it, it's fascinating. So empathy, when we pull back with gavura, with self-control, when we pull back with our desires, that creates a space for empathy. It creates a space where we can start being more concerned with others. And it's fascinating because Hashem is teaching us a very valuable lesson here, that he gave us all these animals. And you think about it, animals are a great way to learn empathy. Anyone who has like lovable, cute, adorable pets, you care about the pets. You feed them, you take care of them, and, and you can start to learn that empathy, that hode, that concern for others. Now then, once again, we want to balance this netzach. We want to balance this, this victory, domination, and then this passivity, of like stepping back and, and what, what, what does anyone else need? What does the other person need? So it's like, you know, getting the good that I need on the side of Netzach and balancing that with the hode of what is what do other people need? What do they need? And when you balance that, <clears throat> and this is also the right side is the Zachar, the male, the man, and the left side is is um, is the, the Nekeva, the woman. And when you balance this, when you balance the male and the female, when you balance <clears throat> the eternity with the empathy, you can bring in the potential of life. And you sowed foundation right in the middle and that is what brings life into the world so you saw it Hashem says by Yomer Elohim Naase Adam B'Tzalmeinu and this is the first time now and Hashem is going to create man it says and Elohim says let us make man in our image 
And Hashem consulted, the Midrash says that Hashem consulted all the Malachim, that he created on the second day, he created all these spiritual beings, the, the, the angels, and he consulted them that he wanted to make man. And what is the Selim Elohim? What is the Selim Elohim? So these ten Sephiros are in the shape of a man. And then the Demusenu, the, the and then our likeness is if you literally take the Yud on top, and that's the head, and then the He is the two arms, and then the Vav, is the person's body, and the lower hay is, is the person's two legs. And that is the likeness of the yud hay vav hay of, of Shem's name, and that is the form of a man, and the ten sephiro. So we say we have keser, kachma on the right side, bina on the left side, I know it's backwards for you, that's the, the three mochim we talked about, and then chesed is your right arm, the right hand, and gavura is your left, teferis the, is the middle of your body, the beauty, the balance of it all, netzak is your right leg, Hod is your left leg, and then it's balanced by the the, the, the powers of uh, procreation, the person's body that can bring life. And then, so Vayomer Elohim Nase Adam Betzalmenu Kidamu Seinu, that Elohim says, let us make man with our selim, with our image and our likeness. Vayirdu Bidagas Hayam Uva Ova Shemayim. And then Hashem says that the man, mankind, can rule over the fish of the sea, the fish of the oceans, and the birds of the heavens, uba behema, and, and the animals, uba ha'aretz, and all the land, uba ha'aretz, uba ha'remes, ha'romes, al ha'aretz, and even the things that crawl, the insects, and they're crawling upon the earth. So this is the balance, this is Yeso, this is the power to bring life into the world, the balance of, of the husband and the wife that can bring life into the world, Yeso is the foundation of it all, and we are created in the, the Selim Elohim. We are created in the image of Hashem. We have these ten sephiros that make up our, our structure and the balancing of the three higher sephiros of, of, of consciousness, of thought, of intellect, and then balancing of the emotions and the lower sephiros. And then we really begin to resemble the Selim Elohim. We begin to resemble Hashem. And finally, the lowest of all the sephiros, the final of the, the Asara Mamaros, the ten sayings, is Malchus, the kingdom. And now we finally can bring all this. So it begins with the thought, the intellect. It starts to come into balancing the emotions. And when we have that perfect balance, we have the potential to bring life into the world and we can imitate Hashem with Misa Bereshis. Hashem's given us the power to, to be part of Misa Bereshis by, by we can you know get married and we can have children and we, we can feel and be part of creation. And then we bring it all into the Malchus, the kingdom. And the final thing, is by Yomer Elohim, Peru, Uravu, Umilu, Esa'aretz. And this is the purpose of it all. And Hashem says, Elohim says, He says, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the Ha'aretz, fill the land, fill the world. V'chib Shucha, or Du, Kedigasayam, Ba'ofa Shemayim. And conquer the world. The world is yours. The world is yours to use. Use it. Learn the Torah. Do the mitzvahs. All these amazing things are here to teach you, give you wisdom, and learn and help you. Be good. The main thing of it is to choose tov over the ra. We want to choose good over the evil. That's the whole purpose while we're here, why Hashem's given us all these gifts. He's given us the place to live. He's given us the intellect, the ability to balance our emotions, to choose good over evil. And then <clears throat> He's given us the, the fish and the birds of the Chol Chaya, Aramesets, Alharts, and all the animals and all the living beings that, that crawl over the earth. It's, it's incredible. That's that's the uh, the ten sayings that Hashem brought everything into world. The world of is to teach us what to do in this world, and these ten sephiros are a part of us. They're a part of that selam elokim that we're created with, and it's, help, it's it's helping us to elevate, become more elevated people, and become closer to that selam elokim. Become closer to Hashem is because Hashem only gives. There's nothing you can give to this infinite, perfect being, and He. he gave us all, he loves us, he gave us all in love and, and to give us all these amazing abilities to learn his Torah, to connect with him, to do the mitzvahs, to come closer to him and the Kaddish ourselves and make ourselves holier and enjoy this beautiful Misa Breshis. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you back again soon on Sweet and Good Torah.